Hi everyone, it's Steelbook Steve. I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the film, a little bit about the history, and I'm gonna then show you guys the latest acquisition. I just got this one in today. I'll give you a hint, it's a new Alfred Hitchcock film. So that's kind of like why I'm doing the setup a little bit different in this particular release. I'm gonna do an unboxing, a true unboxing. Uh, like I said, it just came in the mail. But I wanna talk a little bit about the director, right? The director, Alfred Hitchcock, uh, a master of suspense, you know. In my opinion, yeah, I'm a big fan of him, first of all, and I think he revol re totally revolutionized the uh, suspense genre. Um, some people say he might have created it, uh, but his films always, always carry the sense of unease, uh, a sense of tension, a sense of foreboding that's just around the corner, something's out to get the... Uh, you know, the, the main uh, protagonist, you know, usually he's got that uh, femme fatale or, you know, the blonde uh, woman. You've got the male who can't trust the authority figures, uh, you know, wrong place, wrong time kind of thing. And that kind of stems from uh, Hitchcock's own personal encounters and maybe obsessions as well, which I think is always really interesting. And he has a very, very detailed, elaborate um, film history. And uh, there's a couple films that are favorites of mine that I'm waiting, that I'm hoping get special releases, you know. I have a few of them here, um, you know, uh, that are my favorites that kind of came out in certain releases. So you've got Strangers on a Train. Uh, I think this one came out in 51. Um, you've got Rope. I don't have Rope. That came out in 48, before his Renaissance era. And I wish they came out with a special version of that one. Strangers on a Train is a digibook. I've done a review on this before. Um, and this one comes to us from France. Um, Dial M for Murder, um, which is a really interesting film as well. Rear Window, um, To Catch a Thief, I think I have, just in regular format. I'm a big fan of this one. Uh, Cary Grant's just amazing. So is Grace Kelly in this film. Uh, the Man Who Knew Too Much, um, with Jimmy Stewart. And then you got Vertigo. This was my film before, uh, maybe what's in the box, right, uh, was this Vertigo film. Really, really big fan of this film. Just to, I'll talk about it in a second. But there's Vertigo. I think this one came out in um, '58. Um, then you had, in my opinion, uh, maybe the precursor to James Bond, which was North by Northwest. Uh, if you've ever seen this, if you haven't seen this film, check it out. And if you have seen it, you know that there's, I think, strong parallels between this and Doctor No, which was the first James Bond film that came out in, I think, 1962. So this one is 59. It's a couple of years before James Bond uh, came out. And I think he was actually offered the role of James Bond, but I think he was a little too old, so he turned it down. So then it went to Sean Connery, who was a fantastic James Bond, by the way. But nonetheless, I mean, if you watch this film, one of my favorites, by the way, a uh, really, really strong precursor to what James Bond's all about. And then, of course, um, You've got The Birds, and you've got uh, Psycho, right here, Psycho. And then I thought I had The Birds here. Oh, I put it right here. So Birds, so here's Psycho right here, which came out in 1960, and I got the Steelbook version of that. That one finally came out, which is pretty nice. There's Hitch, his famous silhouette. And this is my crown jewel so far for my Alfred Hitchcock collection, The Birds. This one came to us from, um, which one did it? Uh, the Black Barons edition from uh, Film Arena. So Phil Marina did an amazing job with this release. And you can check out my Steelbook review on this one. Uh, but one of my favorite films, the original monster movie, right? The original, you know, slasher film, Psycho, you know? The original James Bond, if you will, you know, if you'll take it that far. Um, so, I mean, it, it only goes so far to show us that uh, Hitchcock is just an amazing auteur, an amazing director. And, and this film that we're going to unbox in, in, a, in a second right here, which is this one here, which is Vertigo, um, I kind of describe it as a uh, film, film noir, a psychological th a thriller. Uh, the story's based, I think, on a 1954 story uh, from France, which is called De Entret Les Morts, which I think translates from Among the Dead, I think, in France. Um, and you've got Jimmy Stewart, who stars in it, and uh, he's one of Hitch's main, you know, players. Um, he's basically a detective who gets forced into early retirement because uh, there was an incident that happened while he was on the job that caused him to develop agoraphobia, which is fear of heights, and then vertigo as well. So, I mean, there you go, the title of the film. 
And so he had to retire. And then later on, he's hired by a friend of his to kind of shadow, as a PI, to kind of shadow, uh, you know, the wife, the friend's wife, because she's acting a little strange, you know. And then what follows afterwards is this real interesting obsession that has a very interesting twist. You know, before M. Night Shyamalan, before Brian De Palma, uh, who's a big, uh, let's call him a fan, a lot of his films, not a lot of his films, but some of his films take a lot of elements from Alfred Hitchcock. Um, I think he had a film called Obsession uh, that and Body Double, um, which are pretty interesting films in their own right that borrow heavily from Rear Window and from Vertigo. Um, so there's there's an element there that you know even you know very legitimate directors want to copy his style, uh, and those that have tried to directly imitate his style, uh, like in Psycho, for example, I think Gus De Sa Gus De Sant or Gus Van Sant uh, directed that film starring Vincent. Uh, um, I forget his name now, uh, but it was basically a disaster. Uh, and Hetch was in it, and um, it was not a good film. Uh, and I don't think many films have been remade based on his works, just because they're so iconic, if you will. Uh, this particular film, if we're going to look at Vertigo, uh, I'll show you guys this the snapshot here. Vertigo, uh, shot in San Francisco, uh, and it's the first film to use a dolly zoom. In the dolly zoom, what it actually did was it kind of created uh, this in-camera effect that distorted the perspective to create this 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 disorientation, uh, and that kind of conveyed uh, Detective Scotty's uh, agoraphobia, right, fear of height. So it was kind of interesting to see that. And when it first came out, it wasn't well received, but years and years later, now when they do retrospectives, it's it's I mean everybody puts it on their top five. Uh, best list and a lot of people consider this one to be you know the top of the heap the creme de la creme of Alfred Hitchcock's uh, career and the central theme here of this film of course like I mentioned before it's going to be psychological obsession uh, especially with the women that um, you know Scotty the detective is, is in contact with in his life and you know like I said it's been analyzed countless countless times uh, in uh, film classes uh, in reviewers and that's just how layered this particular film is. So we're going to do an unboxing in a second, um, you know, so you can see uh, what I'm trying to do here is just kind of give a little bit more insight, a little bit more perspective about the film. Uh, tell me if you enjoy this kind of dynamic. I am a huge film fan and, um, you know, I, I'm a collector as well, so I, I kind of enjoy this dynamic. Uh, so I kind of opened it up a little bit more in the comments below if you like it. Let me know if, it, if you like the detail, if you want to go into further detail. I didn't go into that much detail about this film. But if you like it, let me know. If you want further detail about other films, I can go back and give you a real in-depth analysis on a lot of films because, uh, you know, I'm a big, big film fan. Uh, anyway, that's it for the uh, kind of in-depth uh, review of, of, of this, and we'll go to the unboxing in a second. Hi everyone, it's Steelbook Steve. Going to do a proper unboxing of this particular release that I just got in the mail today. Um, this is going to be, well, you'll see what it's going to be. But I'm really excited about this film. I just gave you guys an in-depth analysis. If you want to tune into that one, you can check that out. Tell me what you thought. And uh, in the meantime, we'll unbox this guy right here. Great packaging as usual by, I'll give you a hint, Film Arena. They do a great job with their boxing, always secured, never received a damaged steelbook as of yet. Everything's always perfect with them. So, sorry about the noise. Let's see if we can kind of open this up. All right, there's one. The only bad thing about these steelbooks is that they're super well packaged. It takes you a while to get into, but here we go. So the magic surprise here, the film that I'm excited about is Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo coming to us from Film Arena. I was lucky enough to get on the um, reserve list and I put in my order and I went through, I got through, and this is their Black Barons number 12, Vertigo, amazing artwork, that uh, very, very cool artwork, original poster artwork, very awesome, I like that. And it's also embossed, if you can pick it up, it's embossed. Title is embossed, so it's a cardboard sleeve, 
Black Barons Film Arena. This is number 66 of 500, limited edition. Very excited about this one here. Here's the Spine Vertigo. Again, that's the original uh, font that the film used when it was first released. So really cool to see that. I love that. Um, this is my previous version, by the way. So you can kind of see uh, they, they, of course, expanded the background, which is classic, and uh, giving us a really nice look. And then here's the side, or the spine, vertigo. And here's the back. Oh, that, that image of Jimmy Stewart just horrified. Um, well, that happens early on in the film. And there's a bit of embossing around him, or in a silhouette, if you can pick that up as well. So very cool. And there's the details of that that I love, you know? That's why Film Arena, I think, is one of the top uh, steelbook manufacturers. It's just their, their level of detail is always on par. I've been, I think I've only been disappointed maybe once uh, with one of their releases. But aside from that, it's just release after release, just amazing. So I'm going to carefully cut this... Uh, this uh, wrapping here. And, you know, Vertigo, when it was released, this film here, uh, you know, this noir psychological thriller, you know, that deals with, you know, hardcore themes of obsession, uh, when it first came out, it wasn't very well received. But upon, you know, a couple of decades later, it's now on everybody's top five, you know, lists. So let's take a look at this. Oh, that's an awesome steelbook. Look at that. So very interesting, the colors, the trippiness of it. There's a scene in the film, if you watch it, where there's this, you know, this, they're in a hotel, and the colors just keep changing from green to yellow, kind of almost sickly. And I think that's where they got the inspiration here for, uh, which is very interesting. So this is very cool artwork that we have here. We've got a beautiful book. I mean, the, the quality here, it's uh, supple, it's thick. The coloration is just very nice, that, that blood red that you're seeing there. Again, film was shot in San Francisco, by the way. So, you know, that's in, that's kind of rare. Alfred Hitchcock really liked to control his sets. So going to San Francisco uh, was kind of outside his realm. And then here you see the main players. Very cool. So I was very uh, happy with the birds release. And just the image quality, just amazing. Look at those pictures there, Jimmy Stewart. Kim Novak, just amazing. Look at those eyes. Look at that wonderful photograph right there. Just amazing. So you got some production notes. Again, you've got, you know, the obsession begins. I won't ruin anything for you guys. I want you guys to see it. It's a great film. Uh, there's the original poster. Very interesting there. You've got this uh, trio, triangle, to see what happens there. And again, look at that, the quality of that film. Look how sharp that is. Very nice. Another image there. There's that, that scene I was telling you about with the greens, which I think is what, what inspired it. So it, it, you gotta watch it. The theme there is very interesting because he gets what he wants, but it's it's not exactly what he wants. It's not pure. It's been, it's been tampered with. It's kind of changed. It's mutated. It's kind of disgusting. And that's why they have that green color there, I think, to, to highlight the feelings of disgust um, of that. So. Here's another shot there with uh, more production notes. Great. I love the book. I love the fact that it's just, you know, the majority of it is image and the image quality is just amazing. So there's the booklet. We've got the cardboard case. We've got the steel book that's also going to be sealed. We're going to open it up here. And, you know, you guys know I'm a collector, but I got to, I'm a fan. I got to open things up. I can't keep things. I'm one of those. I was one of those kids that couldn't hold on to the toys in the sealed bag. I had to open it up and play with it. So here we go. All opened up. Oof, look at that. That's just amazing. High gloss. Very high gloss. Look at that reflective gloss. That red is just gorgeous. You have a bit of uh, a play on perception or depth perception with the out of focus. They look like flowers or leaf petals uh, that are falling. Um, everything is flat. There's no debossing or embossing, but very nice, very clean looking steel book. And I think this is the worldwide release. I think other steel books have been re released and uh, they have this as the artwork. Uh, there's the spine, vertigo. So you can see it kind of differs versus the original, right? It's, uh, it's a little bit more clean, but I prefer the original to this one. This is all original artwork, by the way. And then there's the back. Again, the staircase that leads to what looks like imminent doom that plays a role 
in the film. So we'll talk about that later. Or you'll see that later, I should say. Uh, Universal film release. So what I'm assuming, I haven't seen the film yet. It's a, it's a Region Zero, so uh, you can watch it wherever you are. Region Free, basically. And if it's the same release as the Universal that we've had before, we should get a lot of special features. Uh, the only thing I would mention, if you're a true collector, a true fan, you probably want to hang on to uh, the 50th anniversary uh, edition. I'll show you that in a second. From the UK. Uh, it's a DVD version. I'll show it to you here. I had it with my previous version. So that's disc one and disc two. Uh, this is from Universal, from the UK. And the reason for that is because you have um, a unique, uh, or not unique, but an exclusive commentary track. And you also have this uh, special feature, I think it's Hitchcock and the Art of Pure Cinema. That's really nice. So if you're a fan, you probably want to pick up that DVD because I don't think this release has it. I'll, I'll double check that and put on the notes, but I don't think so. Great image, Kim Novak on the side, beautiful, gorgeous uh, profile. And then, uh, like I said, that precarious situation that kind of changed everything for our character Scotty. So black and white, very nice images there. I'm a fan of that. And let's check out the goodies here. So here we have our poster cards. Let's take a look. So they're sealed in their own plastic uh, sleeve case. So those are the backs, I'm guessing. Okay, so these are the backs of all of them. So very cool. Very nice image there. And let's take a look at these. So again, these cards are, I mean, gorgeous. The black, look how black that black is. That's, that's a gorgeous black. So, really good quality here. Um, here's another view, another shot. Kim Novak. And then Jimmy Stewart here on this one. And then, here we have, these are upside down. Hitch given direction. Great images here. Haunting eyes, right? So very cool. So there's the release. There's the Steelbook coming to us from Black Barons from Film Arena. They're number 12. That's it for Steelbook Steve. Have a great day. Thank you.